Thank you very much for having me. On the question around uh, the sustainability of our country, uh, from the National Bank's perspective, because as you know, um, debt management is really uh, within the mandate of the finance ministry. However, our debt levels are not worrying because by international levels, uh, being our debt levels, our ratio debt to GDP is still manageable. And secondly, we've always as a country uh, really had a prudent approach when it comes to debt. And, and uh, you know, and, and if you see our debt composition is mainly concessional loans and very long-term loans. We haven't had any issue in repaying our debt. And in the future, we, we still know that we will manage our debt uh, sustainably. And case in point is really that when Rwanda issued its uh, euro bond in August, we had over three times um, you know, investor committing to, to our euro bond, which shows the confidence that even international markets has on Rwanda, on its capability to pay back, and we were able to, to raise, uh, without any problem, the $620 million we were looking for, although investors were offering us more than $1.8 billion at the time. So that shows already that internationally uh, our standing and, and the credit risk that's put on our country is well appreciated by investors. And actually it's lower than what we have in 2013 because as you've seen, the interest rate for our euro bond has gone down at 5.5% uh, compared to the 6.2% we're paying on the area bond. If we look also on the domestic market, domestic bonds, the government issues monthly, they have on average 150% subscription, which also shows that even on the domestic market, investors uh, still have confidence um, in our government and its capacity to pay back its debt. So there are no worries that we see from the central bank's perspective. As I mentioned, we really keep that prudent approach in managing our debt and contracting more debts and also being able to project on the long term what we will be uh, needing uh, for our own uh, public investments versus uh, the revenues we will have. Probably we would go back to look at how do commercial banks price their loans because it's a factor of also the, the interest rate they pay on deposits because they use deposits probably sometimes also on the loans to extend loans to corporates and individuals. And today, the deposit rate that banks are giving are between 8 and 9.5%. So it means that loans will always be, the, loan, the, the interest rates on loans will always be higher than that because they have to add in their margin, but also costs related to, to the disbursement of loans and operational costs. But on the other side, they also compare to the risk-free interest rate. Risk-free interest rate is uh, the rate at which the government is uh, borrowing on the market. So when we look at where we are now in terms of interest rates in commercial banks, we're between 16% to 18% in commercial banks. And we don't see that as an abusive interest rates because that's what the market really um, has. But what I can say is that when you look at um, how interest rates, uh, commercial interest rates have evolved in the last five years, we see, you know, a small decrease. I think by 2017, on average, the interest rates were at 18%. So, you know, they have gradually reduced and probably, yes, it's not yet cheap money if we compare to advanced economies, but we are still not at that level, meaning we're still a developing country. Some of, of, of borrowers are risky and the cost of funding is, is really high. Um, however, what the central bank does is to make sure that there's not prohibitive pricing in the market and the newly adopted consumer protection laws in relation to financial services is clear on that and it's a mandate that the uh, National Bank of Rwanda has um, uh, to be able to, to track and also advise consumers accordingly. And we also in the middle of, of uh, launching um, a web comparator uh, website which will inform consumers on the different loan prices out there but also fees because one of the issues that we see on the market is information asymmetry. 
how many people can say, you know, I've gone to three banks and compared their, their pricing. So we think that with that tool, we will give information to consumers on not only the loan pricing, but also all the fees that are attached to it. And it will give them also information on which bank they should go to. And we think with that transparency, we will see probably more competition in the banks. But as I mentioned, there are so many factors that come in in that pricing and that when we look at them, we think the price uh, that we have is certainly fair given those factors I, I, I indicated. So as a central bank, we don't set commercial interest rates. However, we, we have tools to make sure that one, uh, as, as I was mentioning, uh, price stability is, our, is, is really our core mandate and financial sector stability. So in that, um, one, of course, when you, you, you have a relatively, I would say, predictable inflation, not a too high inflation, but not, we don't want deflation either. Secondly, you look at the financial sector development. And generally, the more people are saving, uh, you know, the more funds are available to give out loans. So I think it's not only the central bank uh, that can have uh, an impact on that you know, cost of money, but also the uh, policies around our economic development, economic growth, and for instance, the initiatives that, that the government has put in place to encourage people to save uh, is, is, is one um, area that would influence the, 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 the cost of, of lending uh, when banks have enough uh, long-term deposits to be able to extend to the private sector. If there are also, um, I would say, credit risk uh, mitigation measures, uh, the collateral guarantees that can be extended, let's say, to our SMEs, hence making uh, the cost of funding for them go down. So there are a number of factors and I think a number of actors uh, that are needed. But of course, as Central Bank One, we want to make sure that uh, there's enough credit in the market and actually when you look at regardless of the fact that people have this perception that credit is interest rates are really high we've seen a consistent uh, growth of new authorized loans in our market so if you look in the last five years in 2016 um, the total new loans that were issued in a country were around uh, 780 billion rand and francs Last year, we were at uh, 1.3 trillion uh, random francs. So it shows a double digit growth annually almost, apart from 2020, where of course, with, with the pandemic, uh, within, there, there were not many loans uh, issued. But despite of that, we've seen a constant growth of between 8% to 15%. And even in 2021, new authorized loans growth was at 15%. So there's more credit going to both households and, and companies and a slight decrease in the, in the commercial lending. So I think, you know, in the years to come with the, the initiatives that are here, we can realistically say and hoping that we can have uh, that trend of, of declining interest rate uh, continue.